What's up guys, my name is Liam, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Lamzu Fanatic collab of The Thorn. I recently did a first impressions video on a sample of The Thorn, but I haven't had a chance to do a full in-depth review, and now that I've been using this mouse for quite a while, I figured we'd jump into it. So, is this going to be the perfect gaming mouse for you? Let's check it out. And before we get started today, I did want to let you know that this was sent out to me by Fnatic, but everything you're going to be hearing in this video is going to be my own words and my own opinions. And included inside the box, the same typical premium Lamzu unboxing experience comes with an extra set of PTFE skates. You get a bottom sticker to put on your mouse to prevent any hairs or debris from entering the bottom a set of grips. You also get this black cable with these orange accents. Of course, this is USB-C premium storage bag, this set of Fnatic stickers, a user manual, and this version does come with the 4K receiver included. And one thing I did want to mention about the 4K receiver quickly is same typical stuff as before. It does have a rubberized bottom, but they actually made a bigger opening here so you can fit more types of USB-C cables to plug your dongle into your PC. And I recently picked up some more 4K dongles for all the Umaya mice that I just received, and all the newer versions of the dongle do have this bigger opening on them as well. Very straightforward, over here on the bottom down here, you have the power button. Up here is where you can adjust your DPI, and then it has this seven skate design, and the skates that come on here, typical Lamzu stuff, really premium and buttery smooth skates. And it does look like they have made some modifications from the bottom of my sample that I originally showed off in my first video. They added some additional holes and they were able to cut off about two additional grams of weight compared to when I weighed the sample. The shell integrity and build quality on my unit has felt incredible, no major bending or anything like that at all, and it does have this incredibly grippy premium coating on here that feels great. Lamzu has made a few changes, and this absolutely feels like a more redefined, fine-tuned version compared to my sample. I watched a lot of people do reviews on this original one, and one thing I did see people mention a lot is if you could see up here the front button gap, and if you were to come up on the front of the switch, there was actually quite a bit of play. This is something that I notified Lamzu of myself when I was actually reviewing this unit in the very beginning and if you look here they did make some adjustments and there's very clearly a lesser of a gap there the clicks on this new copy they're using these ratio opticals and they feel really good and the implementation on here it really feels nearly perfect if i were to activate the switch from the middle where i grip it you literally get like no pre-travel and almost no post travel at all there if you were to come up on the switch you still do get a little bit of play but not very bad at all. And if I were to squeeze really hard on the front, it doesn't even really make contact with the front base there. And the switch implementation just all around, no left to right, no rocking or teetering. No matter where you press on the button, it feels incredibly solid. So the click implementation on here, it really does feel incredible. The scroll wheel still feels pretty similar, but I do believe they're using this new scroll wheel design because it does have a little bit of that plushness to it, similar to the Maya. It's not as plushy as the Maya, but you do notice it's there. So on this mouse, you do get pretty defined steps and the center scroll wheel button, really lightweight and easy to spam. The side buttons also feel nice and tightened up and just such a great implementation if you were to squeeze from the very back. Look at that, there's like no play. You get an even activation on the button all the way across. There's no rocking or tilting on it. And same thing goes with the front side button as well. I really have been trying to push the limits with this thing and I must say that I'm just very impressed with how overall premium and incredible everything feels. So let's just go ahead and jump in and drop the sound test for the click and the build quality. Both the weight and balance have been fine-tuned as well on my scale coming in at 52.2 grams. And even the balance feels perfect with a solid front to back 
and feel spot on on the left to right as well. I've already gone over the performance and software of these Lambzoo mice several times, but for those of you that are watching this video for the first time on my channel, in the software, real simple stuff, I just dropped this down to zero milliseconds over on the second page, adjust my DPI, set my pulling rate to 4,000 hertz, and then I always recommend coming over here to the setting tabs and enabling this long distance mode to give you the strongest signal possible for the best 4K performance. I've already talked about the shape quite a lot in a bunch of other videos, but to do a quick overview here is what the bottom looks like the curve profile from the top left down to the sides and then over here you have a really smooth transition from front to back so there's been two shapes out there that i have not compared it to that people have been asking me to compare this to so let's go ahead and jump into that and check those out so first off when comparing it to the wise owl ogm pro the curves on the bottom of the thorn as you can see are much more aggressive it has this very aggressive thumb groove curve whereas on the ogm pro it's very flat over here on the thumb side but then it has a pretty aggressive flare over here on the side for your pinky coming over to the rear the ogm pro has a much more flat profile on the top where the thorn has that typical ergo style sticking up higher on the left and dropping down towards the right and then finally when looking at both of these on the side as you can see the thorn does have a little bit more of an aggressive profile over here on the left side of the mouse but it does sit a little lower up here in the front but i do feel like on the top curve profile that it does feel like a little bit more of an aggressive hump And finally, when comparing it to the Glorious Model D 2 Pro. Looking at both these from the bottom, you can see they have a little bit of a different curve profile, but I do feel like the Glorious Model D 2 Pro does feel like a little bit bigger and a little bit wider in the hands right here in the most narrow point. And I also do notice that this part on the thorn right here, it does kind of stick out a little bit more. Here's a look at the rear profile with the curve falling from the top left down to the bottom right. When you're holding both of these in the hand, I do feel like the thorn feels a little bit more rounded right here, whereas the Model D kind of just falls off and feels a little more flat but it does kind of extend out and have a slower taper off to the rear to whereas after you get past this curve it kind of drops off on the thorn a little bit more aggressively so all around i do feel like the model d2 pro just feels a little bit bigger in the hands than the lambzoo thorn Alright guys, so that about wraps things up on the collab with the Lambzu and Fnatic Thorn. There really has been an abundance of incredible mice coming out this year, but when it comes to the Thorn, the way that this is feeling, coming in at the weight that it comes in at, having such a great coating on it, every aspect of this mouse just feels incredibly premium to me, and it's absolutely going to be sitting at the top of my list, and there is a list that I do plan on coming out with in the near future where I'm going to be going over all of my favorite top ergo releases of the year. So if you're interested in checking that out and you've enjoyed watching this video, please drop this video a like and subscribe to my channel. If you're looking at picking this up, I've left affiliate links down in the description below if you're interested in supporting the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.